Ideally, we are supposed to be like four in the room. But we are like seven. Imagine this, seven. Seven in a small room. So, if, if you are just thinking about all these things, it affects you in your mind. Psychologically, how can you be? How can you be in that type of space? I said that the most here. Originally, we were supposed to be four in the room, but due to some reasons and other reasons, Potter collected all this money. But, but he makes us six, some people are five. Some room they stay up to seven people in the room. The condition in the hostel is very terrible. The toilets are bad, the, the water doesn't run, and lights. Normally, we are, we are four in the room, but because, because of uh, the, the, some people who have life in the room, but no common time. And the potter has no other choice than to allocate the room to other people. So the rooms now are being allocated to other uh, people who will look at them as illegal occupants. And now, because of the exam, some people, because of the police, the, their houses, because of the distance, they now, it's now that they remember that they have, they were given a room. And they now come back. Now they were already four in the room. And because they are the legal occupants of the room. We have no other choice than to allow them in the room. And um, due to, to, to such situations now, other rooms, we discovered that we are six and other rooms are five. Like that, but other rooms are still there. four. because of the distance from your house. Some squats because of like, if you have a sister like that didn't get space in the hostel, you can just accommodate her to stay with you. The challenge is to face in that room that she is getting missing and there is no fan. There is no fan in our room, so the place gets caught every time. And we meet, we meet so many people, like different characters, and some of them are very bad. There is no space to keep our luggage and all that. They will not get dirty. They just just mess up like that. Yeah, I'm complicated in my room. And this has resulted to a lot of inconvenience. Like, for instance, sometimes I come to that perspective. Instead of going to the most to the last, I come in and find a lot of human is making noise. Sometimes I have to go outside and read. Instead of staying inside to rest. And we have made it in order to look at this. And that's not the way to try to stop squatting. Because they are always in the room. When we go there, I came to visit someone. I just came to visit someone. When the rooms are overcrowded, and the hostel facilities suffer a lot. Because sometimes the room that is supposed to carry up to four. Or two students, we go there, they are about 11. We just wonder how they manage to do And because of this squatting and all that, we have cases of theft and dirtiness. 
and so on. Uh, but look at I'm trying not to control it. Some of them really need their recognition. And uh, they don't have a good job. So they call me like that. And I also appeal. So I say to those who are people that are concerned, if they can come in, invest in process so that our jobs will not be stranded. Because sometimes they are really stranded. 